right, so you say to yourself, Chucky, what does this weigh? Answer, who knows? There really is no telling with trucks like this because, um, you know, you could, when, you, when this thing was new, you could buy it with any number of different engine and transmission combinations. And then uh, who knows how much that bed weighs or even who made the bed because there are a whole bunch of outfits who make those and then you have it fitted to the truck after you buy it, I guess. I don't know, I've never bought one new, but that's what people tell me. Uh, but I would guess this weighs anywhere between eight and 10,000 pounds empty because you think about it, the cabin chassis really isn't that heavy. It's not that much more heavy than a regular like one ton pickup. So you figure whatever that might weigh, plus maybe an extra ton and extra steel and beefier brakes and bigger axles. And then uh, two, 3,000 pounds probably in that dump bed. And uh, that should be somewhat close to it. But like I said, there really is no telling. Uh, I think that weighed a little more than the heaviest thing I've ever towed previously, which is a trailer load of uh, six foot round bales. And I believe this will hold eight of them, if I'm not mistaken. I'd have to watch the footage from last summer, but either six or eight six foot round bales. Those are pretty heavy also, but those don't require the use of the winch. And that's what I wanted to show off today. So yeah, this was a definite buy once, cry once kind of investment. Now this looks like a regular 14,000 pound trailer, but it isn't. It's actually a 16,000 pound trailer. So it has oil bath axles, 14 ply tires and a heavier frame, uh, and obviously bigger axles as well. And uh, I'm really glad I have the stiffer tires because maneuvering this, like those axles get to flex and you see the tires going like this as you go around sharp corners uh, back and in here. And uh, I'm really, really glad these tires have not popped off the rims. I was pretty concerned about that hauling hay with this last summer as well. But uh, this is officially the best test so far of this winch system that I put on here. Let me show you guys this thing. This has been used at least three times. I used it uh, for that truck when it was still a truck. And also with Mechanic Steve's uh, Fordson tractor that we had the winch like 100 yards out of the woods or something and then up onto the trailer with this. So I feel pretty confident in, uh, in giving an update on this and what I would do differently. Basically, not very much. I feel like this is very sturdy. I got this uh, winch plate from the company who built the trailer and I had to get a little creative with welding it on. You can see we got these gussets in here and then it ties on to the front the same. And then I welded on these uh, pieces of steel tube. Uh, you say, you know, this is just what, three eighths inch flat bar stock. It's not all that sturdy, is it? But really it is because it's being pulled on. It's being pulled tight. It's not being compressed. So uh, it'll actually hold back a lot of weight and that uh that dump truck is probably the heaviest thing i'll ever put on here you can never say never uh but hopefully that's as heavy as it gets and uh so you know it seems to work really well the main thing i would do differently i would build everything exactly the same as this i really like the way that this uh deal here turned out and the way it holds on the thingamajigger uh, i'm really happy with that uh but the, there is one thing i do differently and i didn't really think of this when i built this i'll have to come back through and fix this later but um, when we're running the winch cable doubled up where it runs from the winch to whatever you're pulling on through a pulley and then back up to double the pulling power on it, there's not really anywhere to tie off the end of the cable to on the trailer itself. So what we did yesterday is we used this here. This is a D-ring thing that I welded up for pulling stuff out of the mud with the truck and, um, and it, it worked beautifully. We ran the cable through the gooseneck part of the trailer and then tied that hook for the winch on here and it worked but it was not a perfect system because as you can see where we were running that cable where we were running that cable here there's uh if we didn't stop and and work out another plan halfway through this we would have been running the winch cable over this piece of channel iron which we don't want to do because it damages the cable and then we can't use it so um yeah that's the main that's really the only problem i've had in the way around that would be to put a D-ring somewhere on here. This roller is rolling one way and then the cable needs to be tied off somewhere so it's so the roller's not rolling on it like this. So you know what, in that case, I would probably put the D-ring, actually I can do it, probably here. Yeah, that's what I would do. I'd put a D-ring here and a D-ring here. So that way, uh, however you need to position things, if you can't winch perfectly straight, you got two choices. And in the meantime, there's a better place to put this hook than just on the side of the winch plate here. So yeah, and the lights. I would have added those when I added the winch because I'm pretty sure I did this later. I don't really remember. I did it all last year. So I, I'm 
No, I did the lights this winter. I'm pretty positive that the lights came second. So, yes, I am very, very happy with the way that this winch setup has turned out. Uh, the only other thing I could add is do not cheap out on the winch because this is, I'm pretty sure that's a 10,000 pound winch and uh, it was grunting very well yesterday. Uh, the problem is that this truck, well, I think it weighs about 10,000 pounds, so the winch should have been able to do it. It hadn't moved in two years, and it's sitting in an area that gets like 60 or 80 inches of rain per year here in Texas. So, you know, it's really down in the mud, and this thing did not have the power to pull it out of where it, where it had been sitting and then up onto the trailer. So, um, yeah, I don't regret buying the 10,000 pound winch. I thought it was overkill at the time, but it wasn't. That's, that's the way these things usually turn out. I would say 10K winch minimum, 12,000 pound would be a lot better. So uh, yeah, that's just an update on the winch dealio. Really happy with the way it turned out. Um, really happy with how well that thing pulled home because man, the power of the 6.7 diesel is phenomenal. I was chugging along 50, 55 miles an hour at 1200 RPMs last night. 1200, that is it. The truck, it. I know it's cliche, but it really barely even knew it was back there. It's amazing. I love this thing. So, uh, yeah, video of the day. Um, this winch setup is awesome, and I highly recommend you add one to your trailer. And now you know how to do it better than I did mine. Thanks for watching. Video's over. Everyone go home. <laughs>